There are seven types of coronaviruses that can infect people. First four of them have been discovered in the 60s and produce mild symptoms like the common cold. The last three discovered have also been the most dangerous, causing SARS outbreak in 2002-2003, MERS outbreak in 2012, and the actual COVID-19 pandemic. The name of the actual virus is SARS-CoV-2, SARS meaning severe acute respiratory syndrome, COV meaning coronavirus, and 2 because it is the second version of the virus. It is also called 2019-NCOV because it is the new coronavirus discovered in 2019. The disease caused by the virus is called COVID-19, meaning coronavirus disease, and 19 because it is the year of the discovery. Viruses are not cells, so they can produce proteins and energy and depend completely on living host cells for multiplying and living. Now and then viruses suffer mutations. Some of these mutations help them adapt and survive. The new coronavirus suffered a mutation that made it different from the previous. Coronaviruses use spike proteins to bind to the receptor on the membrane of the human cells that they infect. The receptor in case of SARS-CoV-2 is called angiotensin converting enzyme 2 and the binding process is activated by an enzyme called furin. Furin is found on cells in several organs, such as lungs, liver, small intestine, meaning that the virus can attack various places of the human body. It seems like previous coronaviruses do not have the same furin activation site and that the mutation that SARS-CoV-2 gained allows it to bind to the receptor with higher affinity than other coronaviruses. If we don't respect the social distancing rules, a huge number of people will be infected as the virus is extremely contagious. People can spread the virus before they know they are sick. Some will be asymptomatic, some will have mild symptoms, but some will develop severe forms of the disease with severe acute respiratory syndrome. These are the ones that require hospitalization in intensive care units and mechanical ventilation. If there is a big number of people needing intensive care in a short period of time, the hospital's capacity could be affected. There wouldn't be enough ventilators for everybody and we would face a drama where we have to decide who lives and who dies. People with low chances of survival won't get a ventilator in favor of those with higher chances of survival. In this case, the hospitals would be overwhelmed and everything would be a chaos. The social distancing measures will slow down the spread of this virus, resulting in less cases, so less severe cases. It means that people with severe forms can have access to proper care. This is why social distancing is so important.